so so here we make those two conclusions that that in this case so so do i erase this part so so what happens what happens what is the conclusion that the transfer of electrons the transfer of electrons takes place through a wire instead of directly from zn to cu2 plus as in this case right here we had seen zn was becoming zn2 plus leaving its electrons behind and somehow it was forcing the it was forcing the cu2 plus here which was found in the salt solution to take these electrons and become a cu right and in between you just could not tap there was there was such a pro proximity that you could not tap it right thus the heat released earlier can be harnessed as electricity okay so heat won't be released in the process that heat will be released but not here not right in the solution the heat will be released here right now the migration of electrons requires a potential difference between the two electrodes between the two electrodes so if there is a migration from here to there then it means there is a potential difference between them right as it happens in case of a battery thus a potential difference should exist between the two electrodes <clears throat> okay now the potential that is associated with each electrode is known as electrode potential the potential associated with each electrode is called electrode potential okay it is called electrode potential okay
now we'll go into more details of of this electrode potential and what will be the potential what will it depend on what changes can i do to what parameters to change it and ultimately tap all that information into building an efficient cell fine